Hi guys, I just wanted to come on and share a testimony that I received this morning. Um, I was just praying in the spirit and I was asking God, um, why is it that so many of us um, are far and few in between? It just seems like um, so many people who are true brothers and sisters in Christ are scattered. Um, sometimes like far you know away from a lot of where we come from um there's not that many um that truly understand and abide in the scriptures and his holy word um that are around me um you know most of them are you know far far away so uh, I was just praying and asking God, why is that? Um, and he, he surely answered me and let me know. Uh, so here's what he said. He said, my child, have I not told you that my seeds are scattered about? Have I not told you you will all be in diverse places throughout the land and throughout the nations? Are you not all coming together in spirit, connecting with one another and gathering together even with things that were intended for evil, I have used for good. Um, and then he kind of elaborated on what that meant, um, how a lot of us are connecting through social media, um, using different platforms to connect with one another, to spread his word. Um, you know, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, uh, even TikTok, uh, YouTube, how so many of us have turned those platforms into platforms for him to spread his word, to spread um, the gospel, the true gospel, um, and, and trying to draw people closer into him. Um, and then he continued on with that. And he said, do you not think that I can use all these things for my glory? Thus, uh, not taking the scriptures in vain. Here, what the Spirit says on to you. And, um, you know, I just, I love when he speaks so clearly because he's not the author of confusion. Uh, he always makes sure that he is very clear about what he's saying and that his children who do listen and do abide in him understand these things with clarity. Um, and I was just in awe because he is surely right that um, even though so many of us are scattered about, we're definitely being all gathered together, even if we're doing it on Facebook or um, different platforms in order to connect with one another and trying to rein in his sheep because he is the shepherd that we're following. And... Um, and we're trying to help, you know, by being fishers of men and, um, in my case, fishers of women and children and, um, you know, just letting people know the message because um, that's what we need more than ever in these times. We just need to keep drawing people closer to him and let them know they have to repent and turn away from the ways of the world. The ways of the world are all wicked. Um, there's nothing good about our flesh. That's why we have to abide in him and his righteousness. Because left to our own devices, we don't have any righteousness of our own. It's all him. Um, and if you're not abiding in his righteousness, then what are you abiding in? Because um, the world, if you're abiding in the world, that's enmity with God. Uh the world is his sworn enemy because its ways are wicked, the ways of the devil are wicked, and the ways of our flesh are wicked. Um, so if you're not abiding in him, my suggestion is to truly examine your heart, um, you know, look to his word, ask him for guidance, and continue in his ways because our ways are, are wickedness. You know, they're an abomination before him. So if if you're not abiding in him, then you need to um, truly, you know, turn from the ways of the world 
and abide in him and he will lead you and he will guide you just keep seeking him in his fullness um you can't just be a half stepper you can't have one foot in the world and one foot out of the world that's not how it works he wants you fully in or fully out he says that he will spew you know he will vomit the lukewarm out of his mouth um this is not a time to be lukewarm so um i come to you with that urgency in my spirit because i know time is running short um and so many other true believers know that as well and that's why we need to get these messages out to everybody who you know is willing to hear them and willing to step into the father's righteousness and his ways and his truth and follow his commandments and you know start doing the things that he wants you to do um i hope this message reaches your heart god bless